Good afternoon and welcome to the Mike Show for Thursday, December 3rd, 2020. 37 degrees at 4.17 a.m. p.m. And I am your host, Dr. Kamal, and I'm here with Samuel. We just got home from work and Sammy decided he wanted to go out on the ledge. I don't know if he wants to come in or not. Mackie's out there. There's a Alas, a dead city chicken, or what's left of them out there by the spruce tree. We're going to go see that. Sam, you want to come in? You going to come in, buddy? You going to come in so I can shut that window? We're about ready to dive into a used food salad that we got at Meyer. Oh, look at there's Mikey. Special savings, 40% off for a super food salad. There's all kinds of good stuff in there. Kale and nuts and strawberries and blueberries and... Cherry tomatoes and who knows what else. Look, there's Mikey. There's Mikey. What do you smell, buddy? What are you looking for? Elsie's still out there. We have Mackie out there. Had a good day at work. Went and cleaned some carpet. And uh, we're going to be going in tomorrow to do some maintenance on one of the vans that we're trying to get rid of. And Yeah. I had a rough night sleeping last night. I woke up in the wee wee hours and never did totally fall back to sleep. And we got out of bed about, I don't know. What time was it, Sam? What time did we get out of bed by today? I guess it was about 5.30. And uh, sat out here and had our coffee and said our prayers and did our usual morning routine. We read about the 12 stages of humility, which... It'll be an ongoing thing with me. Look at there's Else. You gonna come in, Else? You coming in, honey? Come on, Else. Else, you wanna go in the house? You gonna go in, baby? Come on. Come on, Else. There she goes. There goes Mousy. Well, they didn't want to stay out too long, any of them. Some chickadees flitting around the trees over there. And, uh, look at there's Mackie. We're going to go see what's left of that city chicken. God bless him. Speaking of deceased creatures, I pedaled my bike up to uh, Harrison Road yesterday. What a 20 mile round trip. Beautiful afternoon. Poor city chicken. I hope it wasn't hoppy. I mean, I'm sad to see that it's any of them, and I don't know if a, the hawk got it or if the cat got it, but something got it. And we will remember him or her tonight. The only way you can tell if a pigeon is a male or a female is if you see them copulating, see one laying an egg or getting a DNA test. My uh, neighbor asked me about that. Look at those little chickadees over there. Uh, my neighbor asked me about that, so I looked it up. He said, how do you tell one from another? And I said, you know, that's a good question. I don't know. Mackie, what are you doing? You want to go in the house? Do you want to go in the house, buddy? We got some good treats for them. And uh, anyway, yeah, that was a long and short of it. You either see a, see one laying an egg or get a DNA test. I guess it's getting to be that way with humans, too. With all this... Uh, look at Sammy. Look at Sammy. What are you doing, buddy? All right. We're going to pause for a minute. We're going to sit out here. We're going to get some treats for these little kitties, and uh, we'll be right back. So anyway, we're back. The Mikey's over here on top of the heater. Maxie's still outside. Sam and Elsa are in the house. Um, and I'm working on eating that salad. I said there were strawberries in it, but there aren't. I failed, but there's, you know, all kinds of good stuff. Kale, and I think there are lima beans, and a couple different kind of nuts. There's walnut nuts and cashews, and cranberries, purple onion, carrots. Did I say sunflower seeds? I don't know. All this stuff that's supposed to be good for you, make you going to live forever, which we're not, you know. We're all going to die. <laughs> And I guess how our lifestyle has a big effect in determining what our older years are going to be like, whether we're going to just be living on pills and walking from bed to chair and toilet, or if we're going to have some active longevity. Hey, Sammy came out. He's checking out the used food. And there's Els. There's Els. 
So anyway, I threw on some laundry. I'm in washer. And we're going to hang out with these loves. We're going to read. Look at that beautiful lady. Look at her. We haven't been seeing much of her lately, have we? Look at that pretty girl. She was a cuddling with me last night when I went to bed and when I woke up this morning. Come on, baby. I'm surprised she didn't want to stay outside longer than she did. Look at my kid. Look at my kid. Good, Sammy. Oh, we can't get enough of that Sammy, can we? Can we, buddy? Look at that pretty lady. You gonna come up, baby? Oh, she's going back. She's going back. So, time for another pause. I'm gonna work on some more of that salad. So anyway, we're back again. And Mackie decided he wants to come in, so... I'm going to open the door for him. What do you think of Michael? How are you, buddy? Oh, we're gonna let Maggie in. Oh, yeah. There's Maggie. There's that Maggie. I love you, buddy. Did you have a good adventure out there? You'd be nice to us. You'd be nice. So, yeah, I call that stuff when I buy it that I call it used food. Something I've been doing for years. When I worked up in Rogers City putting in a sprinkling system at the marina up there. Way back in the mid-1990s. Early mid. I guess it was 1995. Hey, Mackie. Look at Mackie. He's looking for the treats I gave the other ones. You'll get some. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's like day old or it was packaged yesterday, so I don't think it's going to be any less fresh than when it was packaged yesterday. But I just like the sound of used food. And then I, I am fond of getting the uh, chicken wings and the chicken tenders from the deli at Meyer too, for the same reason, only they're not day old. They might be an hour old, and they were sitting under a heat lamp, and they're just fine, but... In order to get rid of them, rather than throw them away, they mark them 40% off. So, I get that used food. Look at, look at that jabbing over here. Yeah. Anyway, am I cheap bastard? I don't know. I just hate seeing food get thrown out, too. That's something I do not like. So, anyway. Yeah, let's pause again. Look at my key over there. Look at that my key over there. I love you, buddy. All right, we're back again. Me and Mackie are out here this time. And I'm about ready to start working on the uh, the used chicken tenders. Spicy hot chicken tenders, sold hot. 40% off, you pay 302. They were originally marked uh, 503, so I'd say that's quite a discount. And Let's see what we got here. Eh, not bad. Not bad at all. They're getting a little dry because they're cooling off, but if I heat them up, they'd be nice and juicy. But I ain't got time, and they are heated. The ones I got yesterday had barbecue sauce on them. I thought they were wing dings, and uh, it's amazing. You know, I was in Save a Lot the other day looking at buying some chicken wings and making my own buffalo hot wings or whatever you want to call them, Alpina hot wings. Uh, split skinned boneless chicken breasts were $1.49 a pound and the chicken wings were three twenty nine a pound. <laughs> and that's just, I don't know, they're the same chicken wings that, you know, used to sell for 15 cents a pound, you know, <laughs> way back when. Now they cost more than chicken breasts. Go figure. But that's marketing and supply and demand. More like demand. Supply's got nothing to do with it. There's plenty of chickens. So anyway. Oh boy, we're almost done with this one. I'm going to have a chicken tender. So anyway, here we are again. And we had a couple of those chicken tenders. And I think I'm going to steam heat the rest of them. They are getting a little crunchy. The meat's good. It's the the uh, batter that's kind of dry. And anyway, yeah, it's almost dark. It'll be dark probably in 15, 20 minutes. Didn't get much lighter than it is right now out there today all day. And it's that time of the year 
where I think right now we're down to like nine hours of daylight up here. And in a little less than three weeks, the days are going to start getting longer. And the grim dark days will be behind us. So that's all we have for today. It's No Complaint Thursday. So, you know, do whatever you got to do. Thanks for not tuning in.